Folks from all across Metro Detroit paying their respects to the late former Congressman John Conyers. His public visitation is being held this weekend at the Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History. Greeted by Metro Detroiters, Monica Conyers gets a hug during the public visitation. Conyers died Sunday at the age of 90. He would come in and talk, and then he would uh, go around and meet everyone who was attending. Very polite, um, very well-mannered, very likable person. And he made it through. He got the vote. And ever since then, I've been voting for him every time he came up for election. Tributes for Conyers have been pouring in all week long from across the country. He was the longest serving African American member of Congress and had a celebrated career. Keith January remembers meeting Mr. Conyers back in 1999. Always there to serve, and that was endless. He never changed. And the remembrances for the former congressman continue over the next two days. Tomorrow's public viewing at the Charles H. Wright Museum of African American History runs from noon until 5. His funeral service will be held at the Greater Grace Temple Church in Detroit. That's at 11 on Monday morning. Governor Gretchen Whitmer has ordered flags to be lowered to half staff starting on Monday through the following Sunday. In other news tonight, five people were shot early this morning at a party on Detroit's east side. Police tell us someone opened fire on East Kirby near East Grand Boulevard in Gratiot. One man was killed. Four others were hurt. Police tell us they believe the victim here in this case was targeted. Police don't have a description of a suspect. They tell us their investigation continues.